Hi guys, today we're going to do the valve clearances on a Honda CB250N Super Dream. It's the same as the 400N, um, just a bigger engine. Uh, slightly different valve clearances I believe, but on this particular model, um, they are exhaust is uh, 6 thou and the inlet is 5 thou. Um, I'll get the uh, metric equivalents to you. My friend will put it up on the screen. Right, what I've done, I've already loosened a lot of stuff off. Look, the breather hose on the rocker cover, I've loosened the bolts off. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pop the rocker cover off. I've also loosened the CDI box and I've taken the HT coils off because it makes it so much easier to slide the rocker cover off. Got the screws down there. So just, that should just come through nice and be careful with the rubber gasket. Um, it is reusable. You don't want to be paying loads of money for a little bit of rubber. So we just put that to one side. I've already taken that spark plug out on the right hand side. I'm just going to take this one just because it, I can turn it over by hand then just to get it on top dead center. Um, let's just take that out, put that there. So what you need to do, you've got some marks on the flywheel here. So we're going to rotate it until we're looking for the top dead center mark. It comes up, this is the first time in marks, and then the fire mark, and then the top dead center mark there, just like that. We're gonna look which tap it's need adjusting. So it's the right hand side. So I've got the feeler gauges and screwdriver. Right, the inlet is actually 0.12 or 5 thou, and the exhaust is 0.16 or 6 thou. So we're gonna do the inlet first, put it in the gap, that's actually okay that doesn't need doing uh, that one <laughs> that also is okay if you can see there is a little gap in between the rockers and the valve just in there and it just needs to be a nice tight fit and so we're going to go and do the inlet now and that is okay i do do these regular so i'm not expecting to adjust him but you never know. So we're going to go over to the other side and we're going to crank the um, crankshaft round on the flywheel to do the other side. Okay, so here we're going to rotate this round. We're looking for the T mark again on the flywheel. So we're just coming up, there's the fire. And here is the top dead center. So therefore these tappets should be loose. I don't, I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera, but that little Tappity noise. <laughs> it's the tappets, <laughs> ironically. So let's just have a look. So it's five thou at the back, the inlet side, and that is okay. And that is okay. Let's have a look round on the exhaust. Now that's a little bit loose. So what I'm going to do, because you can feel, I can still feel play with my fingers against the feeler gauge. So what we're going to do. I'll get a 10 millimeter spanner and I'll just loosen it off a little bit. Slide them in there like that. And then I always back off the nut a little bit and then I will pinch it, pinch it slightly with the screwdriver until it's, it's about there. Uh, so it's just it just needs to be a sliding just gently and a bit, a bit tied up here and then all you do make sure make sure you hold the screwdriver into place don't let that go and then just pinch that up nice and firm don't over tighten and that's it and that's all you do that is you tap it's done uh so um all you need to do, put everything back together.